Can you tell us about your association with Ashwin, who is the MSc candidate from Karnataka? I have known Dr. Ashwin Mahesh for more than 10 years. I've known about him as a very deeply concerned Indian who was working to build public opinion for various uh, reform causes in the country, electoral reform, urban governance reform, citizen-centric administration, so on and so forth. I also knew him as the IndiaTogether.com editor. But uh, the real personal association started in 2002 when we mounted a nationwide campaign for disclosure of candidate details. On the basis of Lok Sattva's work in 1999 on identifying criminals contesting elections in the Assembly and Parliament in Andhra Pradesh, it created a sensation at that time. Friends from Ahmedabad, they filed a petition before the High Court and the Supreme Court. Supreme Court gave a verdict to make that mandatory for the Election Commission to collect the data, for the candidates to file the disclosure uh, affidavit. All the political parties got together and said, we will not disclose the candidate details. Then Lok Sattva led a massive national movement. It was actually the first internet-driven movement in the country, uh, utilizing the modern technology and influencing the public minds. And that became a national movement, and that really set the standard for all the uh, debate on the subject. Ashwin then was in touch with me, and I was astounded at his clarity, at his ability to communicate, at his passion, at his innovation. And I realized that here is a gold mine. Here is an extraordinarily gifted Indian whose skills, whose passion, whose commitment, uh, whose intelligence must be harnessed for the cause of India. Since then, we have known each other very closely. Subsequently, in many moments of Lok Sattva, for electoral reform, etc., for um, local governance, for urban reforms, and then Lok Sattva Party's uh, uh, own agenda. For since the foundation of the Lok Sattva Party, Ashwin has been a key player who has actually gathered evidence and meticulously prepared the agenda for the country in a variety of sectors. And then Ashwin has been a very important player in the Karnataka Lok Sattva, and he also has been an incredibly important person in making an impact in urban India. For instance, the big 10 buses in uh, Bangalore city, which should be the model for the whole country, in redesigning the whole transport system, public transport system of Bangalore city, and many urban governance uh, improvements, all because of Ashwin's initiative. And I have taken the initiative to involve Ashwin in the Administrative Reforms Commission work. And he did a remarkable job there in guiding the commission in certain sectors. Uh, he's an exceptionally gifted Indian with a deep concern for the country and with a constructive approach, with an ability to find solutions, not merely to lament about the problems. And he has a very consensual approach. He wants to bring people together and find a common ground for a better India, not merely divide India on so many sectarian grounds. So that sounds very interesting. Can you tell us what distinguishes Lok Sattva Party and Ashwin in particular as a candidate with respect to the mainstream? You take the way Ashwin became a candidate. Ashwin could have been anointed as a candidate by Karnataka unit of Lok Sattva or the Lok Sattva national unit. Instead, Ashwin was elected in a primary election as the candidate of Lok Sattva party after the members voted voluntarily in a secret ballot. That is internal democracy, not merely uh, in word, but actually in deed, practiced. That means a person of Ashwin's caliber had to run the risk of not being nominated by the party members. There is no guarantee that when members sit together, they will always nominate the best person. Electoral democracy always has its ups and downs. Nevertheless, unless we are willing to put ourselves up for that kind of an electoral system, internal democracy, it cannot work. And everything is transparent in terms of the funding and its utilization. There's no vote buying, there's no distribution of liquor. There cannot be any sectarian agenda of dividing society and caste, region, religion, and communal lines. It has to be a national agenda. It has to be a state or city agenda. And uh, it is about specific deliverables. And it's about track record. See Ashwin's track record. He's not a person who brings 10 crore rupees on the table and says, I will now give a mobile telephone to every voter and get the vote. If Ashwin really wanted to make money with his enormous talents, he's one of the most um, educated, one of the most skilled, one of the most accomplished Indians. Worked everywhere from NASA to all kinds of things in the world and in the country. And he is uh, supremely accomplished in the modern technology of uh, electronics and communications and internet um, uh, and the social media. 
but despite that, he utilized all his gifts for the country. He decided to serve the country's cause, not utilize his talents for personal gain. Otherwise, he probably would have had that money also to spare for elections. But that's not the pattern of Lok Sattar. The voting must be voluntary. It must be for the cause. The election is not about the person who's contesting. It is about the people who are voting. It's about building a better India. And Ashwin is a superbly suited candidate for that kind of an approach, for new politics, for a new generation of Indians. Sir, can you learn a bit more on how Ashwin in particular stands a chance against Congress and BJP candidates? I know the established parties are dinosaurs now. And they have enormous money power, they have a brand image, they have wide name recognition, right. and they can bring in a formidable machine uh, into play in the electoral arena. But Ashwin has uh, an extremely great uh, opportunity to reshape the politics of Karnataka and Bengaluru and therefore India. A, Ashwin is a widely known person. Dr. Ashwin Mahesh is actually the advisor to Karnataka government in urban development matters. And his imprint on Bangalore City is already there. Urban transport, many urban systems, they are designed by his work and his initiative and his colleagues' initiative. Already he has achieved, he has a record which others cannot even remotely claim. B, he has been in the forefront of social movements in this country for political and governance reform. Lok Sattar being the foremost, is actually leading the Karnataka Lok Sattar unit. But also he has played a very key role in the India Against Corruption movement against, uh, the, uh, in the recent months in Bangalore and in the, in the country. And see, this election being among the graduates, what you require is the ability of the graduates to be registered as voters and the willingness to come forward and vote. Money, power, and liquor, and other uh, sectarian impulses. In a graduate's constituency in a big city like Bangalore, in a growing city, in one of the fastest growing cities in terms of economy, in a modern city, our own Silicon Valley in many respects, this is the right place and the right kind of constituency to reshape politics, to give confidence to the people of the country that our politics will change. It's not business as usual. And therefore, I believe Ashwin stands an extremely good chance and uh, it's a very realistic opportunity for Ashwin to become a legislator and uh, reshape the agenda for Bangalore city and for Karnataka state. So we understand that this is election for an MLC. Uh, can you explain to us how, uh, what in terms of sustaining a government in Karnataka, an MLC has no role. That is true. It is the majority in the lower house, the assembly, that counts for the government's formation and its survival. But otherwise, in all respects for legislation, the Legislative Council plays roughly the same role. Though the powers are not the same as that of the assembly, in real terms, what you say your voice, your clarity of purpose, and the vision you bring to the table will have profound impact on making of laws and policies. And two, Legislative Council is a forum where you don't have the rough and tumble of politics at the large level. You don't have to deal with the whole constituency where poverty, illiteracy, the massive disadvantages that the poor people of the country suffer from, they impact the votes, and therefore the money power, the distribution of liquor, and the influence of the local cliques, local networks and feudal uh, oppression, they all play a significant role. But this is a graduate's constituency and therefore, his being there on behalf of the educated graduates, he can actually reshape the urban agenda. Politics in India is so far very rural driven. Whereas Indian economy is increasingly urban. Indian society is getting increasingly urbanized. In some ways already 40 to 50 percent of India is either urban or peri-urban. But the political weight of the urban areas is not felt. Once people like Ashwin play an important role in politics, in the upper house, in any house for that matter, they can actually reshape the way we look at India. A recognition that is the young people that uh, really determine the future of the country. A recognition that the technology driven people that are the future of the country. A recognition that urban India is the future of the country. And Ashwin represents all these three segments. And I think he has a great opportunity and he has the great capacity of leadership to really reshape politics and give confidence to the whole country. It's not merely about Bengaluru city or Karnataka, it's really about India. And somebody like Ashwin getting in and winning, not with money power, not with muscle power, not because of the patronage of some political bosses, not because his son and daughter are a politician, but because he is what he is. He is a wonderful Indian, an accomplished Indian, 
whose heart beats for this country, who knows what to do, who has the solutions. If such people are seen to be succeeding, it will be a great contribution to India's political evolution. Sir, so we'd like to thank you for sparing your time and giving views on this. And we look forward to your coming to Bangalore as a part of the campaign for Lok Sabha. It will be my pleasure and honor because success everywhere is required. This is not about Karnataka or Andhra Pradesh or Tamil Nadu, it's about India. And for Lok Sabha, nation above self. Nation above party and party above self. And therefore, all of us must work together and I'll be very happy to campaign for Ashwin and very proud to seek words on his behalf. Thank you so much.